two, two rooms. This one and that one. And uh, we've been excavating it since 1997 uh, for, for about one month each year. And um, grad we've been very gradually taking out the film, the, the film which the uh, debris that filled all of these rooms in that time. Yavaş yavaş burayı doldurmuş olan e, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, Ve binanın kuzey tarafı ve güney tarafı arasında oldukça farklılıklar gözüküyor. Um, it's hard for them to imagine probably what it was like when we first started. Hmm. But um, in this half was we found a huge um, amount of roof, fallen in roof, hmm. up to about here. İlk başladığımızda bu evi kazmaya bu tarafta e, yıkılmış bir e, çatı vardı. And in this half, after the building was abandoned, this half was filled with garbage. İkinat terk edildikten sonra da bu tarafı e, şey, çöple doldu. But this might be very special garbage because on the bottom there were really huge bones, shoulder bones, and pieces of head of cows and um, deer and other animals. That, that was the bottom of the garbage, and then on top of that was black midden filled with seeds and other nice things to eat. So that was the end of the use life of the building and gradually as we go down we got into the different phases of living in it. Under this um, roof, under the fallen roof, where we found big, by the way, big um, horns with a skull and everything, which may have been on the roof. Un under the roof, it was all pretty clean. The roof fell straight on the house, probably. Um, during its use, the, the floors were always pretty clean. And under this side, it was uh, perhaps because it was exposed, it was always very kind of fun. You can see the floor is not. Hmm. It's not clear, it's not nice and white like it is here. <gülüyor> but that's not just because of the different way they were abandoned. They really look as though they've been treated differently. It's too hot. Sanki yaşarken de farklı kullanımları olan yerler gibi gözüküyor. Sadece çatı düştüğü için değil, kullanırken de bu zevkine arasında farklar var. Like you can see this white bench here running across the house like that seems to divide like a clean area with white platforms here from this area which is much sootier, much much blacker. I'm, not, I'm trying not to use the term dirty. <laughs> And this this is um, quite a common division in the Chattahoya houses. Hmm. At one end you have uh, the area where there's an oven here, for example. Probably the remains of floor on an oven <coughs> here. And it's the superstructure of the oven 
is seen by these little holes here, which is some kind of basket covered with clay. Is it always north-south, that division in the other I think so, yes. I have to check the end. Bir ay çatıda evlerinde de aslında çok e, gördüğümüz bir e, eğilim bu. Yani bu tarafı genellikle zeyrine oluyor. E, evin bu tarafı da e, ocağın olduğu yer. Orada gördüğümüz zaten ocağın altı. Ocağın olduğu yer yine öyle bir ayrım var. Yani bu tarafı daha başka faaliyetler için kullanılıyor belki bir yol ki. Bu tarafı da e, daha farklı faaliyet. Her zaman Kuzey ve Güney olarak mı? E, ben onu sordum. E, çoğunlukla. Çoğunlukla. Also at this end, we have possible the possible fixtures uh, here and then here for the um, ladder, hmm. Hmm. Hmm. which went up through the roof, and that was the access. It's been hypothesized that the the ladder was the access into the into the building, although it's not never actually been proved. But it's, it's been assumed that it's, a, it's an intact. A ladder has never been found. A ladder has never been found, nor is a hole in the roof, since the roof is very rarely found. We found the wrong end of it. Actually, there are four. One, two, three. 